Today's math strategy video is on analyzing patterns and relationships. So let's look at an example problem in context. It says the scouts are making model vehicles. They have a choice of making a model plane or a model boat. The materials for the plane cost $2. The materials uh, for the boat cost $4. Write and graph order pairs to compare the cost of making one or more boats to the cost of making the same number of planes. Okay, so for today's lesson, we're really going to focus on just comparing these patterns and how to create an ordered pair and what an ordered pair is. We're going to talk more about the graphing in our next video. So what I'm going to think about first is here are my costs for both of the materials for the plane, the boat. The cost of the plane is going to be represented by an X value here and the cost of the boats is going to be represented by a y value and then what i'm going to do i'm going to put these two values together and create an ordered pair and that ordered pair is going to represent a location on a coordinate grid and or a coordinate plane either one but we're going to look at that part in the next video so i'm just going to be focusing on the pattern so cost of a plane if i made zero planes it costs zero dollars right so if i put those two values together i would have zero and zero my x and y. So cost of plane to make one would be $2. To make, um, to, or sorry, to make one would be $2. Two would be four. Three would be six. And then four would be $8. So because I'm just multiplying by two here. Now the cost of the boats to make one boat costs $4. So then two would be eight, 12, and then 16. So just know that these are represented as money. Now, if I put these points together, I'm going to have my X value, my Y value, X and Y value, X value and Y value. Okay, now what do you notice about these pat this pattern here? What is the relationship between the X value and the Y value? So remember, the X value is the plane. And this y value is the boat. So what relationship or what pattern do you see? So let's make a statement here. Let me make this smaller. So I think I could say that the boat cost twice as much to make than the plane. Now I could also, um, because if I go back over here, and I know that because if I multiply these by two, I'm gonna get the cost of the boat. So the cost of the boat is twice as much as what the plane cost. I think I could also say um, the, like if I think about if I divided the cost of the boat by two, so the plane cost two times less than the boat. I can make these two statements about the patterns that I see here. Let's look at another pattern problem. So this one says, just look at the following two number patterns. What is the relationship between the corresponding terms and the two patterns? So here is pattern Here's pattern A, so we have six and 24. Let's make these ordered pairs down here. I think that that would be helpful. A little chart here. I am going to say that pattern A would be X and pattern B is gonna be Y. So we'll have X and Y. Okay, so I have six and 24. Um, let's see what that next one is. Let me do that. Okay, the next one is five and then 20. So the corresponding terms are just the terms that come, you know, come, you know, the second term for each one. Um, this one would be the third term. So I have four and 16, two and, oh, wait, yeah, four and 16, three, sorry. Three, I thought that was not right. I have three and let's match these up. Three and 12, one and eight. 
okay, so let's just look at this. So what, what pattern do you see here with these X and these Y values? So I've got six and 24, five and 20, four and 16, three and 12. So this would be, um, what do I do to six to get to 24, six times four? Let me do that in a different color so it might show up. Six times four would be 24. Five times four is 20. Four times four is 16. And three times four is 12. Okay, so I can see here that if I, these are four times more, four times more, the X values are the, maybe I should say the X values, well, let me say just the X values are four times less than the Y values. Or I can say the Y values are four times more than the X values. All right, that is all for today's lesson in analyzing patterns and relationships.